This is Aura King Salmon from New Zealand, and it is gonna be the best tasting and best looking King Salmon that you can get worldwide. I actually bought this from Meat and Bone. If you've been here before, you might've seen that they sponsor some of my videos. This isn't a sponsored video by Meat and Bone. If you wonder how much I love the folks that I choose to recommend to you, I paid the same price that you would pay for this. So if you wanna get it, I'll make sure that there's a link in the description for you. And if you use coupon code EMV10, you get 10% off of everything uh, site-wide at Meat and Bone. So for our hot smoked salmon that we're gonna be making today, we're gonna to start by making a brine. So we're gonna start with four cups of distilled water. And of course, a brine wouldn't be a brine without the key ingredient of salt. So we're gonna put a half a cup of Morton's kosher salt into our brine. Now, hot smoked salmon should have a sweet flavor profile. So I use brown sugar, uh, but uh, of course I'm on keto. So I use this uh, Lakanto monk fruit uh, golden sweetener which you, use, uh, you just swap out the same measurement. So for me, it's gonna be a half a cup of this. And then the last ingredient that's gonna go into our brine is maple syrup. Again, I'm keto, can't have regular maple syrup, but Lakanto luckily makes this keto-friendly, sugar-free maple syrup. You're gonna put a cup in. This is a 13 uh, fluid ounce bottle, so we're gonna put about two thirds of this. And then we just hit it with our handy dandy whisk. Mix all those ingredients together. The salt and sugar will dissolve just fine, and of course the maple syrup already has. Okay, the knife we're gonna be using for this is uh, actually a new knife. You haven't seen this one on the show before, and you probably haven't seen this depending on where you're watching from. This is called an ulu knife, and this is a traditional Alaskan knife. Now I know this isn't Alaskan salmon, this is New Zealand salmon. It's a great curved knife, and they use it as a utility knife, and this is Dahlstrong's Shogun series, right? So I'm gonna use this to cut the salmon into fillets. So let's go ahead and put these fillets into a glass dish that's gonna be our brining dish. Okay, now we're just gonna take this brine that we made and we're gonna pour it over the salmon. There we go, you see how they're floating in there now? And then we add a little bit of bright flavor here. If you've never cooked with lemon zest, it's amazing. It has this amazing citrusy sweet flavor without the acidity of the lemon juice, which of course we don't want when we're brining fish. That acidity will end up cooking the fish like it's ceviche. So we're just gonna zest one lemon and make sure that you're only getting the yellow part, that you're not getting any of the white underneath. Okay, and then finally, for just a little bit more flavor, we're just gonna lay some dill into the brine here and let some of that flavor come out and get absorbed by the salmon. So I'm gonna throw these lemons in a bag and put them in the refrigerator with the salmon. I'm gonna cover it in saran wrap, leave it in the refrigerator for eight hours, and then I'll be back and show you the next step. Well, it's been about eight hours in the brine, and uh, now it's time for the next stage. I want you to look at this, and I wanna show you how different it looks just after eight hours in the brine. Look how uh, pronounced the fat is, how it's really popping now, right? This has absorbed all of this flavor that we have. It's just gonna be so good, but we can't put it on the smoker just yet. We could dry it off and smoke it if we wanted to, but the smoke's not gonna stick to it. So what we do is we dry it out and form a pellicle. It's gonna be like a tacky, sticky surface. I'm just gonna put it right here on this rack. If you've been here before, you've seen these racks because whenever I make steaks or chops, this is what I use to dry brine the meat. It's a quick cure, Al, a okay. quick cure. Okay, that's my friend Dash. Uh, if you don't know Dash, his channel is SDS Barbecue, uh, Catering Info. He's a caterer, he's here helping me with a brisket video and he doesn't know that it's called a dry brine. He thinks it's called a quick cure. Hey, listen, if you are with me, Make a comment down there, do a uh, hashtag dry brine, and it's if- hashtag quick cure. All right, so if you think he's right, hashtag quick cure, but we all know that I'm right, so hashtag dry brine. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you haven't seen that brisket video, it's the one I published last week, so make sure you uh, check it out on the channel. As a matter of fact, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see it. So back to where I was before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, we're gonna just lay these out. And the reason that we put them on a rack that sits above the tray like this is so the air can get underneath. See, this is salmon that doesn't have the skin on. 
when you get it from meat and bone, it comes this way. And so we wanna form that pellicle all the way around. So I'm putting it on the rack here so that a nice cool refrigerated air circulates. This is gonna dry out the brine and that maple syrup and the salt is all gonna become this sticky, tacky thing that like I said, we call a pellicle. So I'm gonna go get ready to film some brisket stuff. And then later I'm gonna fire up the smoker and we're actually gonna smoke this on the smoker at the same time we smoke the briskets, but at different temperatures. So if you think that's interesting, stick around, I'll show you how we do it. Hey, welcome to the backyard. This is Boba Fett. He's a Yoder Durango offset smoker with a horizontal main chamber and this vertical stack chamber. Now in the main chamber, he's running at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. He's cooking brisket for another video where I'm comparing brisket cooks between Boba Fett, Darth, my big green egg, and Yoda, my Yoder pellet smoker. Now on Boba, the vertical chamber runs at about 75 degrees cooler, so it's at 165 degrees, perfect for hot smoked salmon. Now I'll move the salmon over onto this mesh grill mat from Grillaholics. I didn't like grill mats before I found this one because the smoke can't get through them, but this one's a nonstick mesh, so it's perfect for this. All right, let's get the salmon onto the smoker, mesh mat and all, for an hour or so until the fillets reach an internal temperature of 140 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. While they smoke, let's throw together a little dill aioli to amp up our salmon when it's time to taste. So I'll start by juicing those two lemons that we zested yesterday, then add in two tablespoons of crushed garlic, another two tablespoons of chopped fresh dill, and about a cup of your favorite mayonnaise. Mine, of course, is Kewpie mayonnaise. If you have a different favorite, then you're wrong, but you can use it. Now mix it all together and pour it into a squeeze bottle. You can refrigerate until it's time. Speaking of time, Okay, you guys remember that voice from Team Quick Cure <laughs> from the distance? This is my friend Dash. The from, correct it's, team it's, yeah. Quick Cure. All right, Comment just, below. just real quick, hashtag dry brine. Okay, so Dash, you saw me making part of this earlier. I and did. You get to taste it. And by the way, for you, if you see all this smoke in the background, it's because we just wrapped the briskets and pumped all the smokers up from uh, 250 to 325 degrees, so right. they're on their way up. Don't worry about the dirty smoke. The briskets are wrapped, not gonna affect anything. And in the meantime, That's, the yeah. salmon is ready. Are you ready? Um, quick cure is always ready. Okay, Team Dry Brine's with you. So we got a fork for you, a fork for me, That's and a fork guys. for you. So uh, which one should we break into first? Wait, wait, let's give them this one. We're gonna give them this one. All right, so this piece. one's for you. All right, can you guys reach it? Here, let me, let me break off a piece for you. All right, you guys just here, reach out and grab it. Right here, grab it. Hurry up. All right, they're not grabbing it. All right, so I'll leave it right here for when you're ready with your fork. I think I like the look of this one. What do you I, think? I'm taking you're this You're doing one for here. the big, all right, so yeah. we'll go for the big one, the big thick head. Cheers. 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 Dude. All right, you know the routine. You've watched the show, MTY, moist. moist. tender, and yum so yummy. Yeah. Uh, this is, yeah, guys, you gotta try this. So first of all, start it with this great Aura King salmon. Make sure you try this. There's a, being a link down in the description so you can get it from meat and bone and don't forget to use the coupon code to get a discount. But then the way that I did this, it's a little extra work. Worth it. Yeah, so worth really it. good. I've got another video of another way to make salmon. I make cedar plank salmon. I'm gonna put it, sorry, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Dash. It's gonna go right there. If you've already seen that, check out the one I'll put down here. I think you're really gonna like it. We'll see you next time Team on Quick Cure. <laughs> Team Drive Ryan <laughs> on Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.